Hello friends, today I'm really happy to show you this Nanoleaf 4D. Welcome to this new video. Before we start, I have to say Nanoleaf sent me this product to show on my channel. But as always, I give you my honest opinion. So first, let's see the box, then do the unboxing, the installation on the TV, the configuration in HomeKit, and then my conclusion. If you would like to skip directly to one of those chapters, please feel free to. This Nanoleaf 4D creates a light effect behind your television like the Philips Ambilight TV does by default but with this kit you can retrofit this to, to any television or a PC screen it's really nice this is the 65 inch version but it also comes at an 85 inch version if you have a 65 inch television I would advise you to opt for the bigger size so you have a little bit more of play to install the LED all around. But I have a 50 inch television only so this one is just fine. So this 65 inch version comes at 99.99 euros and the 85 inch comes at 129.99. You can also buy the camera separately and that costs 79.99. So how does this work? There is a little camera on top of your television and this camera films your image and then reproduces it with the LED strip behind your television. Why would you want the camera only? This is because this also works with the shapes and lines of Nanoleaf. So if you already have those ones behind your television on the wall, you can sync those lights with the camera only and have the same kind of effect. Now let's see the box. You can see the little camera on top. The little sink box just over there. So you have four mirror modes. You have the 1D that's only white. So the intensity of the white light changes. Then you have 2D, so with the 2D you have only one color at a time. And then you have the 3D and 4D version, which are quite similar, but with the 3D multiple colors as the screen, but they are randomly positioned. And with the 4D you have all the colors, but they are mirrored as the screen. Of course, the LED strip is trimmable and has a smart mapping. You can use the light strip to sync to your music as well and it has sync technology so you can also sync the colors to the other nanoleaf devices as shapes and lines so of course there are other products on the market that do the same kind of thing think about the goofy and visual tv backlight to t2 which comes at almost the same price but that one isn't home kit enabled and you also have um, much more expensive devices like the Philips Hue Play Sync Box and the Goofy Sync Box, and both are almost 300 euros. Now let's see what's in the box. So the little leaflet with the HomeKit code, installation steps. So the LED light itself. Here's the strip. So this LED strip, this one again is the 65 inch, it's 4 meters long. The 85 inch is 5.2 meters long. Uh, this one has a lifetime of 25,000 hours as all the Nanoleaf lights, I would say. It has 30 LEDs a meter and 10 light zones a meter. It is connected through the Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. Then in the box we have the camera mount. So the camera can be positioned on top of the television or on the bottom. And it just clips on in the front of your television. There is a privacy cover that comes with the camera that you can see here, but it doesn't record it only. Watches your television to sync. So personally, I don't think I will use this cover. And you can see it is magnetic.
then the power adapter of course and then we have this physical control box so in order to activate or deactivate the light strip but of course you can also do this with Siri you just ask Siri to activate or deactivate then you can toggle between the four light modes the 1D, 2D, 3D or 4D you can sync to music so it feels nice nice touch with this rubber grip in the bottom and then the Nanolif includes these corners it's a really clever solution you stick this on the back of your television and it makes you help doing the corners that are always quite difficult to do with a LED strip preempt tape in order to attach the corners to your television now of course to install this LED strip I have to demount the television from the wall and put it on this front in order to stick the LED strip behind please note that if you have a plasma television you can't put the television down on its front but with an LCD or LED television that isn't a problem I just put those cushions in the bottom so I can put the television on top in the meantime now I'm first going to disconnect all the cables Now I put the television down, I cleaned the surface all around, then I can install the LED strip. So then I leave advised to put the LED strip about two and a half centimeters from the sides. So just lay it out first before sticking it on. And my cut will be right here, so that should be almost perfect. So for the installation, I just use this little bit of paper and I measured the correct distance. This way it is easier to align the corner pieces in the LED strip itself. I'm almost there. I can choose if I cut the strip here or just over there. Uh, we'll pick this one. This way my LED will go all the way around. I won't have a dark spot just over here. Now the LED strip is installed all the way around. I'll just apply the pressure everywhere to be sure that it's well attached. Now before putting the TV back on its place, we have to connect everything to this control box. So that is the camera, the power adapter and the LED light itself, of course. I also installed a little control box with the 3M tape and the smallest part of 3M tape between the USB cable and the LED strip itself. Now the camera is mounted on top as well. It sticks out a little bit but when watching the television it doesn't bother the viewing experience. So we can see the LED strip itself but as, as it is black 
it isn't really shocking. So now let's power the device. So now let's add the device to the Nanoleaf application. So therefore we go to Nanoleaf application, we hit the three dots, add the device, Nanoleaf 4D, and then we have to scan the HomeKit code. So we add it to Home. That's in the living room. Nanoleaf 4D. No automations for now. And there we have it in the application. So here we have the settings. And I have to configure. There's a little video that shows me how to do it. But let's perform the steps directly ourselves. So the camera is on top of the television. Continue. And you choose the position of your camera. And then you have to indicate if your corners are right. And just select your corner. You can adjust it if needed. So you can see here all my corners are indicated right now on the correct place there you go and now I can calibrate the camera as well so here my screen isn't that well so I have to correct it a little bit there you go Be careful for reflections, otherwise your colors aren't matched up that well. And there you go. So I can add some extra devices of Nanoleaf that I have in my room, like shapes or lines, but I don't have any. I have my essential bulbs, but they aren't compatible yet. So you can see nothing in this room right now. In the application itself, you can choose to toggle the 4D on or off. You can set the brightness and you can choose the mirror mode. So first 1D, 2D, 3D and 4D. And you can also choose cinematic or lively or custom. I noticed that depending on what you're watching, the mode has to be adapted. So for normal TV shows, I would advise to use only 1D and for films I think the 4D is the best on a low light level. You can see I have my television on a panel and the effect would be better on a white wall with a TV directly on the wall. If I set my brightness too high I have too much of a shadow around. So I set the light level only to like 20 something percent and now it is way better so you can see that the light is adapting a little bit but it stays within the white colors And when we switch to 2D, here you can see how the color is adapting in function of the image. Now switch to 3D. See, it has much more color right now, but it isn't synced with the television image. And the last one, 40. So now you can see in the 
of upper part how the image becomes how the light becomes blue Choose for the more vivid color. And you can see that the lead strip is addressed more actively with more pronounced colors. Now you can also use scenes. Turn off the television to show it better. The beat crusher is a voice activated scene. Plant the scene. The game night. And of course, you can also just choose to show basic colors. And this way you, you can use this LED strip in your home kit for ambient light, for instance. And within the home application, you can do so as well. So here you can see my Nami 4D and I can choose my colors. So that's the setup right now. It was a little bit buggy. I had to restart over a couple of times in order to make a good connection. But now it's set up. It seems to be working great without any failure. My overall conclusion about this Nanoleaf 4D is it is really cool, but you have to get used to it. For the best effect, your television has to be on a wall with a light white or bright color. Or when you use it on a panel like me, you choose low light intensity by preference. Play a little bit around to see what mode works the best for you and with what kind of TV show you're watching. Like here I'm watching an animal documentary and it works really nice with the 4D vivid colors but when you're watching a TV show you may prefer only to have the 1D or 2D option with a really low light intensity and cinematic mode. So play a little bit around with it. The Nanoleaf app is the best application to play with the options but for installation it would be nice to have a more user-friendly wizard which really guides you throughout the steps without any difficulties. Really cool that you can address the light strip within HomeKit and you can use the light also as ambient light. The camera that you can see on top isn't disturbing at all and I definitely will use this while gaming or watching movies or nice Netflix series like this one. I'm not sure if I want to activate this for regular TV shows as it could be a little bit disturbing. But overall, a really nice solution. It looks nice. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.